Hey, what's up, Falcons fans? I am DJ Shockley, and this is Falcons Film Review, presented by Microsoft Surface. And today is all about Drake London. 10 for 172, he had 11 targets, so they made everything that came near him, he caught it. But I'm gonna break down exactly how he was able to get open and some of the monster plays that he made versus really tight coverage. It just shows his catch radius that the ball was around him. He gonna come down with it. Let's jump into some of these plays and how Drake did it. Now, look at this play here. This is where Drake starts. So Drake starts over here. He's gonna be in the slot over here. I mean, not in the slot, but he's gonna be kind of inside these numbers here. He's gonna run a corner route. Now he's running a corner route and he's running versus outside leverage. Usually you're not supposed to be able to get to the outside versus outside leverage because they're protecting against the outside because they have no help outside. Drake does such a good job at the top of this route of swiping by the defensive back and creating some separation from him and the defensive back that makes it an easy throw for the quarterback. But let's just watch the small nuances that he does at the top of the route. You don't expect this from a big receiver like this, but using his physicality is what's most important on this play here. Now here he is, and watch the, you're gonna get outside leverage. Here's the outside leverage, and watch what he does at the top of his route. Boom, now at the top of his route, he swipes him across. At this point, He's got pretty good coverage on him. There's really no room for separation. But as he comes out of this route, let's check out how much separation he has in and out. Now, as the ball's in the air, look at the space that he's created just from using that swipe and coming across it. And now he's created six yards of separation from when he stuck his foot on the ground and came across the defensive back's face. And now look at all the room he has over here to the sideline which is Brady Goon would give his quarterback so much space to throw this football over here. So the separation created on the outside, and it gives all that room to the sideline, which the defensive back did not want because he was playing outside leverage. Nice job by Drake London using his physicality to come across. And now it's another big time completion, 26 yard reception. Unbelievable job there by Drake using that physicality. Let's go into another play here. And this is a different leverage. Last time he had outside leverage. He's gonna run a corner route again, but this time it's versus inside leverage. Now it should be a little bit easier, but you still have to create the separation. So you just can't run it and go outside. That way that guy's gonna be in your hip pocket. All right, Drake again, inside numbers, trying to create space for him because he know he wants to run his out breaking route. So he lines up on the inside of the numbers and let's watch what happens at the top of this route here. Does such a good job of the release, being patient off his release, getting a feel, and then now, boom, stick his foot in the ground. Now, sticking his foot in his ground here, Dimitri, he still probably has pretty good coverage here, right? But because of all this room, you have to throw the football out here. Watch how much more space that he creates coming out of this because he stuck his foot in the ground and came out of it. Now, fast forward another second. Look at the separation that Drake has created for his quarterback as he came out of this route here. Seven yards worth of separation because he stuck his foot in the ground and made it look like he was gonna go inside and paused that defensive back for just a half a second. And that half a second created seven yards of separation. And now look how much room he still has to get to the sideline. And here it is, another chunk play, 26 yard reception, 22 yard reception. Big explosive plays from your big time receiver, giving your quarterback a chance to throw this football a long time. But it's him, what he's doing at the top of his route that has created this separation. All right, here's a different type of route here. He's gonna run a 15 yard in cut here. So 15 yard in cut, he's gonna end up coming up, coming right across here to 40 yard line. The number one thing for a receiver when you're throwing this type of route is to come back down your stem to the football. And what I mean by come back down is if you come flat out of it, or you kind of bowl out a little bit, guess what? A defensive back can undercut it, they can knock it away, or they can even intercept it. But he does such a good job of protecting this quarterback on this route, and it's what most receivers should do on a route like this. Now uh, here's Drake on the inside again, on the outside. This time he's outside, top of the numbers. He does a good job of stemming, and again, sticks his foot in the ground. And again, looks like he's got really good coverage on his separation here. Looks like he got really good coverage, he's there. But watch where he ends up catching this football at the end of this route. Look where he catches this football at. The ball, he cut at the 40-yard line. He came straight across this 40-yard line, but he ends up catching his football on at the 42-yard line, coming back down his stem, so he gives his quarterback what we call a friendly catch. And this is a friendly catch, and now it is another 15-yard reception because he did such a good job at the top of the route, 
coming flat first, but then when the ball was thrown, coming down his stem a couple more yards to help with the throw and the catch. 22 yard, 26 yard, 15. These are all explosive plays from Drake on this play here. Now, what I think is probably, it has to be one of the top plays of the year. And we know Drake London going up to get this football was an unbelievable catch. But there are some small nuances inside this route that gives him an opportunity to go and get this football. So on this play here, it's nothing but a, a straight go route here. But once he gets to about right here, he kind of goes down here a little bit more, kind of gives himself more room away from this safety that's sitting over here. They got a safety shade over the top because they know how big of a player Drake is. But he does such a good job of trying to stay away from this safety. And then with the balls in the air, when we say 50-50 balls, this is more like 90-10 for Drake going up and get this football. Let's watch it as this play unfolds. Starts here, bottom of the numbers. And here's, you can see his eyes. His eyes, actually, he's not even worried about this defense back. His eyes are looking at this deep, at this safety on the inside. He wants to get further away from him, which gives him a better separation away where he can catch this football. Now watch as this ball is in the air, he goes up and get it. And this is an unbelievable play here. Look at him go get it at the highest point right here. This is such an unbelievable job of going up at the highest point and going to get his ball. This is the number one thing that defensive backs are taught, catch the ball at his highest point. Guess what? This is what you want in your big 6'5 receiver going up and elevating, going over the top. So it doesn't matter. They got a guy over the top. It don't matter. You got Drake London going up to make a huge play, and he come down with it. And it's an unbelievable catch, and it leads to a 45-yard reception because of some of the small things he did inside the route, and then the rest of it is just his athleticism with what you drafted Drake London for. Now, his last play was obviously the last play of the ball game where you get Drake coming down here. He's going to come in here. He's going to run a dig cut. But you talk about receivers are not physical. Receivers are scared to go across the middle. Anything can happen on this particular play here toward the end of the ball game. But Drake does a good job of, again, going up at the highest point, going to get this football. And watch where he ends up here as this ball is thrown. As this ball is thrown, you got one, you got so many guys inside of here. You got one, two, three, four, five guys who could actually have a chance on this football. But Drake uses his height, he uses athleticism to go up and get this football. And now it gives you another big time reception. And again, at the end, 28 yard reception for Drake London. And it is a reason why he had a career day 10 for 172 because of some of the small nuances within routes that allows him to get open, but also using his physicality, but then also knowing how to get open, create separation from a defensive back. And that's how you go out and have a career day 10 for 172 for the big time playmaker in Drake London. Hope you guys have enjoyed Falcons Film Review. I'm DJ Shockley, and this has been presented by Microsoft Surface. We'll see you next week.